Hi, I want to make a video about um, relaxation, if that means anything to anyone. Obviously, we all like to relax. We all like feeling tired, or we all like that. But, you know, generally speaking, when you start thinking about it, what are we doing? We're trying to relax. And generally speaking, what does relaxing lead to? It leads to sleepiness. So, once we're content, our body, almost in a certain way, makes us mimic death. We face death through sleep when we realize we have nothing else to accomplish. I've eaten, I got a full stomach, I, I you know, jerked myself off. I feel kind of good now. Let me go. I'm, I'm, I'm tired now, and I'm going to relax. I'm going to lay down, and you go to sleep, then you're not relaxed, and you're on to doing the, oh, uh, what's my next meal? What's my uh, next, uh, you know, thing that I'm going to find sexually gratifying, or whatever it is that we're looking for. I mean, that's really all we're doing. You're doing that, you relax, and you go on to the next thing, the next mundane process. Because you can only relax so much. I mean, that's really, I mean, that's the point. You mimic death through sleep. I mean, even though that's not the necessarily, that's not the process, that's essentially what's happening. Because, you know, essentially it's your body's own mechanism, uh, way of saying, oh, I'm content, I have no worth, I have no need to live anymore, so let's, you know, let's go to sleep now, because I've accomplished enough. Or sometimes it just forces it on you. I'm just tired. I'm going to sleep. Oh, my, life, my day sucks. Let's go to sleep. And sleeping is just a way of mimicking death in a way because you just, you have not, it's essentially through no longer needing to satisfy something, it mimics death through sleep and relaxation. So once you do it, you relax and it leads to what? You relax and you go to sleep. And you sleep to wake up to the same old hungers and desires to move through the day again. Um, and that's the only thing driving us is um, the addiction and the relaxation. We addict ourselves. Oh, I'm, I'm relaxed. Oh, I'm satisfied. Then you're back. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm, I'm in pain. I want to eat. Uh, I want to. I want to. Oh, what am I gonna, you know, stroke off to right now? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm tired. That's good. Oh, nice and relaxing. Uh, oh, okay. I'm back again. What's next? I mean, that's really all we're doing. Sorry. Sorry to break it to you, buddy. Buddy. Good boy. Yeah, buddy. Sorry to break it to you, but you ain't doing much of jack crap. Um, you're... Um, um, I'm happy. I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm happy. Yeah, you, happy. What do you do with happy? I mean, you can, even if you could grab happy... Okay, this is, makes me, okay, grabbing happy, let's grab a pencil. I grabbed a pencil, right here, yeah, or a pen, yeah. I'm happy now, this represents happy, now what? Okay, I grab it, ooh, ooh, happy, ooh, yes, ooh, it's making little dots on a paper, ooh, yes, ooh, yes, it's making little dots on a paper, ooh, ooh, yes, it's very interesting, ooh, okay. I guess, you know, you're really thinking about life or reality a little too much, but when, you know, when you think too much, and that's the conclusion, the more you think, if you think right, and you're not just self-dissolved in delusion, which has its own futility in its own way, then you're eventually going to come to these conclusions anyway. And if you come to the wrong conclusions, you're just, you know, you're dwelling and you know, you're, you're, you're marinating in stupidity and you're not going anywhere. So it's either you're going nowhere, you're staring at a, a, a wall, or you're going somewhere in that wall and you're eventually just going to reach a dead end. You're going to jump into the black hole and die. I mean, that's really, it's either stare at this wall the wrong way, I'm staring the wrong way. Or you steer the right way and you walk, you know, it's a long haul, crap. Well, actually, it's, it's actually, it's actually, you know, and you're dead before you know. You know, that's life. <laughs> and the black hole sucks you and you think you're far away and then all of a sudden realization, boom, 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 you're, you're there. You magically appear, you're dead. Instantaneously, you're, you're no longer. I mean, you get used to it, I guess, right? I mean, this is the chase game. And the chase can only happen in the right direction. And the right direction is reality propelling you, say, to chase sex or something. You can't chase anything when you're facing the wall the wrong way. There's a wall, you, you wake up in a white hallway, and there's a dead end, and then there's a you know, black hole in the other direction, a mile down the road or something. It's either you take your time, you, know, you can walk back and forth, ooh, I, once you know something, generally speaking, you're there, and you can't escape the truth because the truth is something you can't escape once you know it. It's either you know it or you don't know it. You can be denial, but if you're in denial, you know it already. And you can only be in denial so much before the truth just sucks you in. It beats you over the face. The truth's going to win in the end. It doesn't matter what you think. Um, it's going to win. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. 
So it's either, um, uh, no, I'm not going to even look, because once I look that way, I know I'm going to start seeing things that are true, and I'm just going to die. I want to look over here, but, you know, you're not going to chase. You can't even chase if you're staring at the wall. you got to know something, and you got to be facing this way. <laughs> so if you're looking this way, okay, you're not, you're just, you're just, a, you're just a guy, you know, stuck in his, tied to his bed, hasn't left his room in his whole life. But if you're going this way, and it's like, oh, da, 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 you're not doing anything. So you might as well turn around and take a little. Okay, I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna read one word a day. I'm not gonna read a whole book a day or read a whole page a day. I'm gonna read one word, so that hopefully I can read the next word and not know what the previous word was the previous day, so that I can sort of just sort of confuse myself and make life seem more mysterious than it actually is. That's a good way of looking at it. They're reading one word a day, and since it's only one word, there's no context there. It's just I go. Out, side, <laughs> and it's like, oh, what was the previous word? There's no context to help me remember, so I can easily forget this way. Okay, um, this is a good way of confusing myself. Okay, so I know beforehand I can confuse myself. You go in with that bit of knowledge, so I can say, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Therefore, life's mysterious because I don't remember what happened yesterday. Yay! There, therefore, you fall into your own pitfall, and you just you become worthless, and you're just back to staring at the wall again. You're not doing anything to go in this direction. You're either doing nothing or you're doing something. You're either not chasing or you're chasing. And the chasing that makes life have any worth meaning is going to be chasing the right way. And you're heading right towards death when you're chasing the right way, which is generally speaking, you're forced to do something once you have been procreated. You're forced to do something, either dying as a one-month-year-old, a month-old baby, or you're dying as a 95-year-old old woman or man. You're doing something once you're forced into existence, unfortunately. And we don't necessarily do all we want to do, or we don't necessarily, what we believe is not necessarily always the thing that we do. We're not, we're sometimes we're kind of hypocrites. We don't always only follow what we say, but we preach, but we're advocating for it. And to a certain extent, if you're advocating for it, it doesn't mean I have to do it. I'm just saying this is a good idea. Um, I murder, but I can say you shouldn't murder. That's always a good thing. That doesn't mean you're a hypocrite. That just means I murder. That doesn't mean I'm not going to murder. I'm just saying you shouldn't murder. Don't murder. Don't murder. I have an addiction, but you shouldn't have the addiction. You shouldn't have the addiction. Um, you should not murder. Because I know from experience, to a certain extent, sometimes it takes me knowing from experience to, to make it seem um, like it's like to preach to you that it's not worth it. But sometimes it comes off as being a hypocrite. But you know what? That's just a simple label to describe a more contrived circumstance. Don't, don't you know? You, you know you're not going to eat no freaking. Thing. You're not going to eat nothing. I can eat something. I, I, I said you couldn't eat something. No one should eat anything. Generalized statements like that. No one should eat anything. No, you're not going to eat. I don't eat. That's a little more hypocritical. But then again, sometimes it takes being a hypocrite to prove a point. <laughs> to make it seem, from experience, I know better. You shouldn't do this. Sometimes it takes that. So, yeah, you got to face the right way, otherwise you're screwed. You're going to either going nowhere and doing nothing, or you're going somewhere and you're going towards the end. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, it doesn't mean you're going to necessarily reach the end. Obviously, reaching the end doesn't mean you know everything. It's just reaching the end is... Um, your, I guess to a certain extent was an analogy for knowledge. You reach the black hole and there's no escape then. But that doesn't mean you're always going to reach the end. I mean, you could go in the right way, but the more you know, the, generally speaking, the more you're going to understand this existence. And it's either you're going nowhere in life, staring at the wall, or you're going somewhere. You're going to experience, and the experience, either it be you stubbing your toe or something, you're going to experience life in one way or another, and the one way or another is deprivation. And it's either being... Depri not depri deprivated, which is non-existence, or being deprivated, which is going to the chase game. So it's either die when you have the chance, or die when you, once you've gone through the whole negative sum game thing. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, that was kind of crap. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, love. Yeah, you, we all love to relax. But the relaxation is like almost a mimic for death. I got nothing else to do. I'm gonna relax. Ah, but you only relax so much, because relaxing is just, I want to fall asleep. You want, you want to stay in that kind of sleepy state? Yeah, well, you're, you're, when you're relaxing, you don't even know you're relaxed, because you're, you're not aware of it. You know, that's once you think about, wait, I'm not even aware when I'm asleep. I'm kind of aware, but I'm not aware, I'm not aware that I'm really asleep. I'm, it's so fleeting, and then I'm right, waking up again, and I'm right back to wanting to relax, and chasing that relax. Redundant crap, chasing your own 
poo trail, I guess. Your poo trail of tears, whatever the freak you want to call it, that's life. So we're stuck in that little silly thing and whatever. Yeah, nothing to say. Life. Boo. <laughs> boo boo. Doo doo. That's what it is. Eh. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I don't want to go on too long on the subject. I mean, essentially, that's what it is. You. Ah, okay, then you're going to sleep, then you wake up, and you're doing the same thing. I mean, it's just redundancy that you go through life. It's essentially the same idea, but you, you relax, you reach a certain point, and then it's like, let's take a nap. I'm content. The only thing I need to satisfy is uh, satisfying my um, satisfying my escapism to um, no longer exist in re reality. By going to sleep and not being fully aware of my existence. So yeah, that's it really. It doesn't lead for what? Where does it lead? Nowhere. Okay, it doesn't mean my. Okay, I'm I'm satisfied. Huh? Okay, I'm awake again. Oh, I feel rested. Let's go eat something again. Let's go do this some more. Let's go do this some more. And then let's ah uh, let's rejuvenate and do the same thing. It doesn't do anything. I mean, you're not even aware of it. Relaxing leads to what? And go to sleep and you're up again. We all like to do it. And it's mimicking death because there's nothing else to satisfy. And you got to go to sleep to make sure you have something to satisfy. Or relax again and do it all over again. No, I saw this very contrived and silly. Um, so I, I, got, I made the point clear enough, and obviously I, I'm, it's something that might come up in another video, no, video, and if I have something else to mention on this subject, I'll mention it again. So thank you, um, and until next time, bye.